still uh, let me uh, extend my thanks first to uh, mr Do captain shaker <laughs> always he says don't say me mr <laughs> captain shaker thanks a lot and thanks a lot to air cruise aviation and also aib for inviting me today to speak a few words on mental wellness uh, i'm dr shantla ravishankar i have uh, got my doctorate in education i'm an msc bed i've been a principal and retired from shri krishna international school uh, today i'm going to talk to you on what is mental health and mental wellness now uh, generally when we categorize ourselves we say what is health now we have to think first about what health is what does that define so definition of a health is it has to be physical mental and social generally what we do is health we refer it completely as a state of physical that is if we are not well say we are having some problems in our health physical health maybe diabetic or hypertension or you are having a some cold or cough we call that as health but we have to also check that the physical health is different and mental health is different um it's all about coping up with the real problems that we have in our place this is nothing but uh, the mental health as the who says that there is no health without mental health so mental health actually deals with our emotions the feelings the thoughts how the ability to solve the problems and understanding people around us the two things mental health is different and mental illness is different wellness and illness these are two different things we must not club these together wellness is totally depends upon how you deal with the emotions and mental illness is totally a behavioral issue and it's an inability of thought processes and they need clinical help and their symptoms are different they are not able to communicate properly so mental illness we are not going to talk on that we'll be talking only about mental wellness actually the whole mental wellness this whole responsibility like they say do not believe everything you think man is such a human being is such people that we go on thinking we overthink always something or the other we will be thinking and who is responsible for this brain is responsible for this and brain is only 2% of our body weight whereas 20% of the brain is blood and 20% of the brain is oxygen you know how many cells are there in the brain there are 1.5 billion cells in the brain but we use only 2% of that potential and most of the diseases 70% of the diseases originate from the mind only so mental wellness and keeping our mental health is very very important not just the physical so what is mental health then what is mental well being so mental well being is defined as it has uh, it, we have to work productively we have to contribute to the uh, community correctly and properly and we know we should know how to change our lifestyle and cope up with the stress of life today you ask even a small child it will say i am very stressed it's my life is very stressful so we need to know how to cope up with the stress unfortunately only 95% of our uh, people in this world know how to or what they want in life they don't even 95% in this world don't know what to do they are not at all using their brain correctly only 3% of them know what to do but they don't know how to do it 1% will achieve but they'll fall sick and only 1% achieve and enjoy so imagine how this mental well being is so we are not knowing how to use our brain that is what it actually means so the next slides will tell you how healthy our brain should be healthier the brain happy is the life so that is where the health comes in so wellness is a holistic integration of physical mental and spiritual dimensions which i'll talk to you later and how you nurture your mind and body being happy with all the challenges that you have to face today we are all of us are facing all sorts of challenges and we have faced recently the covid also the pandemic also so health means what then health has to be you should be physically fit you should be socially fit 
we should be mentally fit and it is not just the diseases so or if you have so if somebody says oh i'm very healthy now you'll have to find out whether he means that he doesn't have any diabetic i'm not having any bp i don't have any kidney problem i am not a cardiac problem then they think that they are all healthy but are they healthy here in the mind that's very important when we talk about health and what are the dimensions of wellness is changing your habits to bring in a change in your life so if you have all these dimensions integrated properly then only we can say that you are having a good life not other ways so next i will talk about the dimensions of wellness i just spoke to you about how what are the different dimensions physical intellectual emotional social spiritual financial environment and occasional now first thing is physical now what is physical dimension physical dimension is staying healthy in the body physical physically how well are you maintaining your diet your sleep your skills now that is supposed to be your physical health so your fitness is supposed to be your physical health now intellectual intellectual dimension is what growing intellectually see lifelong we have to be learning we should be responding positively to all the challenges you should be knowing how to expand your knowledge and how to expand your skills for the present situation that is your intellectual dimension and emotional dimension is when you are understanding people around you respecting your their feelings their attitude appreciating their feelings around you managing the emotions in a very nice way and also being very enthusiastic about life and what is social dimension it is maintaining a healthy relationship and enjoying with being with others developing friendship being intimate caring about others and also contributing to the community and your vocational dimension is again preparing for and participating in any kind of work whatever whichever you are satisfied with your skill you know what you are good at it so the job satisfaction is your vocational dimension and this should have a value it should have a value you should have a goal and you should know how to yeah, put it into your lifestyle so you should contribute with the talent and with your skills the financial dimension is a dimension how you manage your resources how you know how to live with the finance dimension in your life how you will do the investment whether it is short term whether it is long term and what are the emergencies for that how what you will do and environmental dimension is how you will understand the people around you let me go in little detail with an example by chance a person is not physically fit now he goes for work if he doesn't know how to manage his intellectual dimension as i said all of them are integrated you can see it looked like a venn diagram they are integrated with each other intellectual oh you are very very intelligent but you are not upgrading your skills then in your workplace wherever you are uh, uh, doing your job they will not accept you if you are not upgrading with your skills you will not climb up the ladder like others if you are not upgrading then what happens to you when you are not upgrading you are again falling feeling bad you start comparing yourself with others the others are upgrading themselves and going up the ladder why i am not financial dimension he is getting much more pay than you you are not able to financially uh, actually put up everything together so what happens you don't know how to invest you start spending as you like and then you don't know how to save see only in india the mothers and grandmothers teach their children how to save not in any other country so we should know how to save because we know in emergency we need to have finance if a finance dimension is bad we will not again become very upset social dimensions we are all social beings we are all social animals we need to live with people we need our parents we need our siblings we need our sisters and brothers aunts cousins relatives friends boss everyone if you are married it is a spouse your children we need to be socially we have to adjust with everybody emotionally we need to adjust with everybody i cannot shout and scream around and then bring in and always keep feeling that people are not appreciating me 
when that becomes again an upset thing so mentally again you will be upset because emotionally you don't know how to manage all of them socially you don't know how to relate and connect with everybody then financially you are not able to bring up so what happens whenever you are comparing yourself with others whenever there is a downfall in your finance whenever intellectually you are not able to upgrade your skills so you are not able to go up the ladder all this will have a very big impact on your mental health and vice versa your physical health will also go down as i said we overthink we go on overthinking the vocational dimension and intellectual dimension goes together whenever you have a job in your hand and if you are satisfied with the job you should also know how intellectually and smartly you have to work that is where the intellectual dimension comes in just look friends if all these dimensions which ever i have mentioned here are not integrated with each other and when you are not able to meet your aspirations and your achievements then negative emotion starts coming into you which what are those negative emotions they are the fear that anger there is sadness when you have fear anger and sadness then the social economic status also goes down so emotionally and socially you are cut off frustrations comes in so where do you go and throw that frustration you will go and throw those frustrations and vent out your feelings on your people maybe parents at home maybe your sister or brother at home maybe your kids at home maybe your spouse at home your friends around you might not be able to cope up at, yeah, in your place place of work so you will not be with good relationship with your friends there is a jealousy there then you will not be able to communicate properly with your bosses so all this put together that we say it leads to lots of pressure when it leads to lots of pressure then you will start Uh, finding uh, some kind of uh, comfort zone is not there this leads to becoming more and more stressful when you start becoming more and more stressful then the what is the effect of that stress the effect of the stress is something and all they are uh, i don't know who is scratching this out like this no idea See, the next slide is not coming captain so this will lead to bp it will lead to diabetes it will also lead to lots of heart problems uh, i don't know somebody scratching off those uh... just hold on just hold on let me remove the person just a minute i'm really sorry these are some anti social elements they always do this kind of things yeah let them not do it on the slide <laughs> oh, they somebody, are... is a, somebody is interested in taking out uh, some snaps or something of this they it will be effective well, isn't it i'm extremely sorry ma'am i'm extremely hmm. sorry so you you just carry on just okay i think i i'll, I'll not enter these unknown names now okay <laughs> I I don't know who has entered and who's done it. Anyway, let me continue because the next slide again won't be clear. See, it won't be clear. I just talk. All right, friends. Okay, sorry for this. Anyway, the slides are not that very clear uh, because of the scratches on the screen. On somebody's screen, it is scratched up. Somebody has scribbled something. So as I was telling you all that. when you are not able to cope up with your aspiration and achievements this leads to frustration when it leads to frustration you are not able to uh, find or went out somewhere the frustration you went out on your own people when you this went out the example of the, that frustration <laughs> <laughs> maybe <laughs> you are frustrated in, because you have called them now <laughs> don't get frustrated friends the topic is interesting so that you do not get into such kind of mental uh, illness or well <laughs> be very healthy uh, all of us are here just to uh, you know see that you people get some kind of uh, motivation with our talk we are not here just sitting here and uh, doing something 
uh, we respect captain very much we respect the aviation group very much uh, with lots of due respects we are here and we would love to share whatever knowledge we have with us that's it nothing else guys of you ma'am so the frustration uh, whatever you are i was talking about uh, it fall you go and show it on your parents or your kids or with your siblings or with your friends later what happens to that that only leads to more stressful life so when there is more of stress then i will tell you what actually happens it leads to your physical ill health it lead to diabetes it could be having an effect on your heart on your joints pain is there migraine digestive system doesn't work properly so you have acidity then there you have a sleep problem urinary system gets affected immunity system gets affected and all this leads to your blood pressure and diabetes day by day. it's not one day process okay as a year goes by you would lead if you do not take care of yourself now you will not lead all these things will follow in by the time you are 40 or 45 plus so what we have to think next is what are the pillars of our uh, what all can we do to have health so i have five pillars with me the five pillars is the hormones the nervous system is your brain with your nerve spinal cord and your nerves fitness is one more thing as i told you nutrition is one more thing and detoxification now i'll talk about hormones first this is the structure of the brain i don't know whether you're able to see it because of the scratch over i mean the scribbling over here mm, the i okay i'll talk about the hormones okay the, there are four types of hormones which i would love to talk to you uh, ma'am you can yeah. do what like you need to just uh, reshare your screen i guess uh, it will work properly just I often come back again. Yes. Okay. I guess that will work. That should work. I do stop sharing. Yes. Yeah, I've done it. And now you can again. Again, share. I share back. Back. Yeah. Yes, I think it will work. Mm. Oh yeah, here it is. now good yeah thank you <laughs> yeah some technical things we need to learn <laughs> uh okay friends i was just talking about this uh this is the five pillars i was talking about for mental health nutrition detoxification the brain health the hormones and fitness now in this the most important part as i told you this is the brain okay this is the structure of the brain Now you don't need to go too much of it. It'll be like a biology class. Don't worry. The in the brain, the most important one is the hypothalamus, which is here, the pituitary gland, and also the frontal, the cortex, this portion. Okay, and there is a small gland over here called pituitary gland. Very small gland that is a forms a havoc. You know that is the main and important part in our body. Pineal gland, pituitary gland are the two glands. that are harm and what are hormones let me be first give you a small line of it that's it is a reduction of uh, the hormone produced by the endocrine glands which has no duct but falls directly into the blood okay so there is a lots of reaction whenever your emotion the hormones i think you all would have heard hormonal imbalance so they have thyroid problem or they are put on lot of weight this is because of stress so that leads to pcos pcod so they are not the infertility so many things you keep listening why because of this mental health once your mental wellness is not kept properly you no know, all this problems takes place so in this i will i want to mention there are four kinds of beautiful hormones which you have to keep uh, keep it very secure and nice which are they they are the serotonin oxytocin domofine and and also the uh, endorphin okay now what is domofine domofine is nothing but a love hormone it's a very good feeling hormone okay you feel very nice that is why it is called domofine 
oxytocin is a love hormone where you have a trust and you love somebody some caring and love doesn't mean it's just love between two people it can be between parents between siblings it can be spouse friends all of them you know when you have lots of it motivates concentration movement learning blissfulness all this it will release endorphin endorphin releases the stress this happens whenever you are doing exercise see whenever you are stressed they say go and go to the gym or go running uh, do jogging do some exercises at that time the endorphin will be released by the brain and you become very calm and nice then serotonin is a calm thing whenever you are happy you are with people laughing joking uh, you are going to some function or in a party and you are enjoying yourself at that time it is a serotonin which will be released these are the different kinds of hormones which are very much necessary for a body and if these hormones are not released properly then we cannot relax ourselves so the hormone is to keep these happy hormones in for our mental being what we have to do we have to have nutrition nutrition is very 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 important so what is nutrition if there hormonal imbalance is there you tend to eat more okay now why does that happen that happens because in your gi or in your uh, gut there is some few bacteria good bacteria okay now these good bacteria will touch the neurotransmitter whenever you are very happy or whenever you are very sad so whenever there is fear wherever you are sad whenever there is a some kind of a complex going on in your mind at that time you see you will not feel like eating you will say i'll not eat i don't feel like eating then acidity reflex of acidity because the bacteria is not meeting the transmitter if the neurotransmitter is not met by the bacteria this hormone which i spoke that's why i spoke about the hormone first that will not be released if that is not released calmness is not there there is more of the brain being exploded okay so nutrition is very very important because it has to go and meet that bacteria in your gut the bacteria has to meet the neurotransmitter the neurotransmitter has to go to the brain to release those hormones otherwise it will release the stress hormone called cortisol cortisol is the one which will increase all the ill health in your body joint ache acidity migraine diabetes sugar level going up your bp your cardio problems all this goes bonkers because of that one cortisol hormone if that cortisol hormone has to come down your nutrition should be very good so that your gut health is very good if your gut health is good then you are winner you are a winner because whenever you have seen in advertisement whenever somebody is feeling very low they'll give one cadbury's chocolate and the ch- girl will eat the cadbury's chocolate and suddenly she becomes very happy what actually is happening is the sugar level goes up and hits the neurotransmitter the bacteria hits the tra- neurotransmitter for a minute the, the person is very happy many a times even you will go to this uh, into the fridge and ch- find what is happen- ha- is there is there any fruit is there any sugar uh, uh, gulab jamun or a peda or maybe even just a sugar into your mouth or you want to have a cup of coffee with lots of sugar why all this happens and you feel very nice and it's all temporary it's just a temporary relief unless and until your nutrition is proper every day your physical health is not okay then if your physical health is not okay your mental health is also not okay so what you have to do in nutrition is you should see that you have a balanced nutrition 30% of protein 30% of fat and 30 per, 40% of carbohydrates is a must 2 to 3 liters of water is a must 6 to 7 hours of sleep is a must 30 minutes of exercise is a must and positive thinking is a must if you have these five with you you are a winner you will never get upset never and never you'll get upset and with that you have to also have a very good detoxification what is detoxification it is not fasting fasting is not detoxification friends removing toxin fast one day you remove the toxins no that's not detoxification according to me you have to be mentally detoxified 
how can you do that only if you don't overthink sleeping in time will help you all how keep your mobile switched off after 10 o'clock 10 maximum not after that after 10 o'clock see that your mobiles are off all your electronic gadgets are off your tv is off you practice for 21 days you practice this and you see you will be very healthy and nothing will be in this eat in time drink water have the fitness program be positive and then you watch and detoxify yourself mobile de detoxify so i always call this as a digital detoxification have digital detoxification friends and you will see your fitness will be very good then you can get up early and you are back on your uh, on to your jobs do lot of yoga do lot of meditation and uh, every time in instagram fb whatsapp what are we doing we are only seeing how many of them are sending messages in fb how many are seeing likes even that time that is also a mental uh, problem health only if somebody doesn't put like for your messages you get very angry somebody doesn't message back you are angry or get frustrated and all this again leads to mental ill health so detoxification of all these things uh, the will remove the clutter in your mind and don't as soon as you get up don't check your phone check your phone later that i'll tell you what you have to do so mental detox or digital detox is very very much necessary and uh, as i said all of them in the fb or whatsapp are only acquaintances friends are only just five of them so be very very careful while you are doing this i hope you have understood that that's a very important one your dimension and your nutrition pillars the pillars of mental health those two go together this i have just made a small little research called rick wahen model of how to increase your happiness in this just don't bother about this here there are few words that you need to know gratitude motivation courage calm and self uh, caring and satisfaction now you should have some confidence and you should have some gratitude to people who are around you motivate others and self motivate yourself try to be a part of aspiring and inspiring people be service minded always and always be contented and satisfied now keeping all this then only you will be recognized and people will keep a very good relationship with you you should be calm you should be courageous you should be motivational you should have gratitude and you should have confidence you should aspire and inspire and aspire others and also you have should be a service minded person if all this will happen only if there is a word called resilient you know what is resilient resilient means there are so much of challenges and problems when you go home parents will half the time keep telling do's and don'ts you are frustrated don't go here don't go do don't do this don't do that too much of don'ts are forced on you and you are frustrated and there are so many things going on lots of bickering in the house is going on in the friends is going on people are pulling your legs are up apart in your with your colleagues so all oh, when all this is going on one thing is resilient resilient means see like a rubber band rubber band when you pull it comes back right that is resilient whatever happens in your life friends they are pulling you try to come back you can come back pulling you come back come back when only when you are calm when when you are courageous when when you are yourself a self motivator when when you are satisfied when when you know how to keep your relationship when when you have gratitude and your service minded when all this is there in your mind friends you will not care for anybody you will not be bothered about anything let anybody say anything to you you are unmindful of it you are just unmindful of it so your mental health will be very very strong my dad used to always give me one sentence forgive and forget this should be your motto more you more you do this the more you practice this being resilient you see you will not bother you will just not care you will say for it this day also will pass by bygones are bygones let's move forward if you have this attitude with you definitely you will 
uh, actually, actually will win over and you will not have any problem at all. Uh, everyone will be saying, ma'am, you are talking so many things, but in my house, there are so many other problems. How do you understand? In my house, there are this. Yes, in everybody's house, it is different. Two houses are not the same. Two people are not the same. Two uh, situations are not the same. But there is one thing you can do is uh, a very beautiful concept and the concept is called circle of control. See, there are some things that I can control and there are some things that I cannot control. It's not in my control at all. Let's leave that then. So then what are my things which are in control? The way I talk, yes, it's in my control. My decision, yes, it's in my control. My actions, definitely it's under control. The way I treat others is in, under my control. How I ta take care of myself and others is, uh, is under my control. And amount of effort I put is under my control. The things that are not under control, what others do. I should not poke my nose. Things of the past, don't go on talking about past. Forget it, it's over. What happened tomorrow is gone. Don't talk about it again and again and again. Where did you put my socks? You That day you did like this. You did not talk to me. You did not message me. It's gone. It's over. You don't need to bother about that. Then other people's choices. Why you should be bothered? You don't need to be bothered about others' choices. It's their headache. It's not yours. You know you what you have to choose? You choose. That's under your control. What other people see? Now, if somebody is gossiping, whether it's office or home or relatives or friends, so, so break, you take and go away from them. Don't stand there and listen to it. If you listen to it, then you are the ones who are going to lose. So let people say what they like. You just leave the place. And how other people feel? Now, I like red. That doesn't mean that everybody should like red. If they like blue, it's fine. Okay, it's your choice. So I feel it. Take it. You want blue dress? Okay, it's your choice. Have the blue dress. You want to eat pizza? It's your problem, not mine. It's your choice. I want to eat rice. You have pizza. Now, that way you have to be, you know, no, 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 no. I am eating rice, so you also should eat rice. No, it's not necessary. If they want to have pizza, they can have pizza. It's their choice. And what people actually feel is different. And weather and natural calamities definitely is not under our control. When rain comes and when rain doesn't come, Many a times it so happens that we want to go for a movie and it starts raining and you're not able to go. You can't blame the rain, can you? You cannot blame the weather, can you? So these are the things that you have to understand, friends. So I cannot control anyone else, but I can control myself. That will give you a very good mental health. If you start controlling everybody in your life, whoever it is, then it is going to your mental health will get spoiled. Don't bother, bear, I mean, or even worry what others do. Worry about yourself. What you can control, you do. Your thoughts, your future plans, your words, your choices, your reactions, your actions. You have the control on them. Just be with it and you can go on coping with it as it comes. The next thing is, uh, Ma'am, you have told us everything, but how are we going to cope up with all this? There are so many challenges, you know, that we go on facing every day. Huh? Nobody appreciates me. Nobody says anything to me. How much I do in this work at home? How much work I do in the office? Nobody recognizes me. All these are the thoughts that goes in everybody's mind. I have a very simple exercise for you. And this exercise is called mirror exercise. What I do is, I don't care who says what. Morning, I just stand in front of the mirror. When I dress up, generally you people will like, you know, somebody to come and say, oh, you're looking so beautiful. Nobody does. So what do you have to do? Stand in front of the mirror and appreciate yourself. Wow, mirror, mirror on the wall. Who is the beautiful child, girl? I'm the one. I'm the only beautiful one. I'm the only intelligent one. I'm the most best of the best. You appreciate yourself. And I love this mirror, uh, you know, example always I give to everybody, everyone I tell them, when nobody appreciates you, just take out your right hand, put it at your back, pat yourself in front of the mirror and say, I am the best. 
and give a beautiful smile and that is enough you know it just boosts up your energy and you can go ahead the whole day i have here a 30 day mental challenge health challenges if you want you can have it or you can just take a snap of that you can practice some good hobbies you can meet some friend of yours listen to your beautiful uh, or a favorite music you can plan some healthy uh, meal some day for one one day each day you plan something so that you don't get bored if you are having something here in your brain in your mind and it is not it's affecting you then this is what you have to do go for meditation or do breathing exercises or just call up a friend of yours and say hi how are you and just i'm trying or read a good book for or actually pamper yourself do your facials or something go and have a beautiful bath hot water bath it all i will actually you know it, these are few small small tips that you yourself have to self motivate and do it this will cl clear it up you know your mind becomes very nice a cup of coffee and all will not do a cup of coffee only will increase some of cholesterol cholesterol in your body so the cholesterol or the sugar so don't do that it is all temporary these are something very permanent any hobbies you are having practice it some silly movie you want to watch you know i love to watch tom and jerry when i'm stressed out when i mentally i have something in my mind you know after all all of us are human beings uh, when children are gone out they, they don't come early there's a fear there's an anxiety uh, for what we also don't know only bad thoughts will come to you at that moment panic attacks will come so what we do we have to change our mood to change our mood i'm giving you all these examples these are few of the health challenges mental health challenges for 30 days all you have to do is just do something apart from what you're not doing at all just pamper yourself and you will see that it gives a lot of good feelings in us so we also had what is called uh, during the covid most of us we had lots of mental health problems i did not have because i did that challenge i did that challenge i thought sat down and i you know prior to i i wrote it down in a book what i have to do that will help a lot if you have any frustration on somebody or you are panic somebody fear sadness all this is in your mind just take a book even if it's silly of the silliest just keep on writing it when you write it down and write down those fears in your book this from here it just moves off once this is cool then the physically you are cool if this is hot physically also you are frustrated so or you might do some harm to yourself you might scream at somebody or you might throw all your things in around all this you should not do you have to keep yourself very calm and to keep yourself calm these are the challenges that you can take and you can start doing and all of us were in this covid 19 and trying to uh, you know being uh, how well we can cope up with together and i must tell you we have nine months have passed by be very happy that these challenges we have faced that the schools were closed there was job in insecurity there was stress social economical status were down but in the same time we all have replaced i from e right we we have put wellness and we have removed illness all of us we should be very happy that at least all of us have managed to understand so many values we understood the relationship values at home husband wife children siblings parents in laws we have understood the relationships we have understood what is healthcare we never which we never did it at all the isolation has made us understand what it is for us to being alone and not being social and then we have also understood that how financially we have to be secure financial investments where we should do whether it is short term or long term how to go about is expenditure necessary was the thinking should i buy 5000 rupees dress not necessary did i not live for 9 months without it did i not without going to malls did i did did didn't we lead a life without spending so much of money going to theaters didn't we lead a life see how much it has taught so the challenges we have faced and we have 
come out victorious without any problems and understanding different other things so we should th- be also a little thankful that somewhere the god you know it's in the best biggest laughter i mean the biggest joke he uh, laughed at the god laughed at was when man started making plans he's laughed it seems make plans okay tomorrow you want to go to australia okay make plans you wanted to go to america okay make plans and he started laughing it seems why because there is god always man proposes god disposes that's what has happened with our challenges what we have faced in covid man went on planning oh next year i'll do this i'm going to do that i'm going to do that and what happened everything went it did not happen but still we did it that is why because 80 or 90% of indians we should be appreciating that we are having mental health we know how to cope up with anxiety we know how to cope up with stress and that is what is very much necessary friends in our life so the other uh, these are some of the tips that we have we are adopting the realistic uh, approach uh, you can delegate your daily course among your people uh, you can explore some new ventures nowadays online jobs are so many are there which you can venture you can spend wisely you should know how to manage your resources and optimize your income and also uh, your short term and medium goals what they are how much budget you should keep for your school fees for your house budgeting groceries how much is necessary and still you sit and do it i have done it i don't know how many of you have done it you sit and do it before covid what was his expenditure and during covid what was your expenditure and you will see that you have saved during covid this is what i have learned i have done it and i saw that i have not spent too much of my money on so many unnecessary things and necessary things now i have understood what is necessary and unnecessary things in life that has taught me so i am very happy that there is so much of savings with me then spending so do a very intelligent investment and do not do foolish expenditure this is very very important to keep yourself mentally uh, healthy now uh, this is something seven days i was trying to tell people when they were sick. i mean i'm actually a counselor also uh, i have a certificate in counseling so they many of them call me up and ask me what should i do i don't know whenever you are it's possible at home whenever it is uh, all you have to do is i am happy i am happy i am happy it can it will just take out 5 minutes for you to do whenever you are driving whenever you are in the kitchen whenever you are in the sink washing vessels or probably washing machine you are putting something or cleaning up no all you have to just two to three, three to four to five times i am happy i am happy i am happy i am happy. whenever you feel that you are down Uh, mood is gone off this is what i do i sing along you know in the room i am happy 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 and that's how it keep always a smile in your face and uh, this is again a plan for a very happy week on monday you could do some three things positive things uh three you can meet a friend or uh, for a moment or you can learn something new on the youtube or anything one day do mauna vrata speak less and listen more one day when people at home will be shocked do that and you it really you feel very healthy mentally and do something innovative and keep uh, repeating these things you know i am terrific i am totally wonderful this is what i said in a mirror i'm amazing i'm brilliant i'm clever i'm very funny i'm very happy i'm outstanding now just go on re- repeating these are called affirmations now what why i said this is what we do in the mornings is when you get up in the morning first thing is hold your hands and say god touch the ground mother earth thank the universe that today you have got up because many of them have not seen the next day they have not seen the bright sun during this corona during this covid during this pandemic so you people are so lucky that you have got up to see the fresh new day that itself is amazing right i go out to the veranda i see the beautiful sunrise 
I thank the universe again, saying, God, you've given me a beautiful life. I come back and then I start going to the bathroom, wash my face, brush my teeth. Every day, five to 10 minutes of meditation, or 15 minutes, you have guided meditation, uh, YouTube and all that. What is the second thing I, we have done during this pandemic is, see, we are all 60 plus retired. Where do we go? COVID says, don't go out. So what we should do, what we did, we friends, few of us of the same age, with the same mentality, join together to do group uh, meditation. That's on the, uh, uh, for the, uh, 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 probably uh, mm, Saturdays and Sundays. Uh, we started doing group meditation, group yoga, group fitness art. And uh, that's how we started off and we uh, were managing uh, together our days, you know. It's beautiful. And in the night, we uh, uh, write the gratitude uh, journal. Uh, every day, any three people whom we have thanked in our life that day. It could be uh, your servant. It could be your people at home. Just say a thank you and write it down. You will find, you know, very blissful the next day. You feel very nice. Mentally, you're very strong. So please do that also. So when you do that, uh, also it will be very, very nice for you. You'll feel very beautiful. Uh, uh, your soul is blessed at that time when you do that. So please thank at least uh, three people per day. Write a gratitude journal. Uh, that also will help you a lot. Maybe an auto fellow who has dropped you or maybe your, uh, any friend of yours who has helped you out, please thank them. So that is the one way of, uh, uh, and we, what we do in the morning is, first thing, take a book and write the affirmations. Affirmations for a strong, steady and beautiful mind. What it is, is we write like it has already happened. I have some goal. Okay, I want to make some lakhs of rupees this year. So you should not say, I will. You should say, I have. So that is affirmation. I will. No, I have. I have got this. I have got a big bungalow. I have got this big car. I have achieved this. So like that, you have a target. You want to achieve the target. I have achieved this target. Like that, you will write the affirmations in the book and then do meditation. That really helps. As I said, for anything, practice for 21 days and you'll see it will be beautiful. So here we are with a dear God. Let's all say that if I ever uh, lose hope, please give me strength and replenishment. God, grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change. Courage to change the things I can and wisdom to know the difference. So before I uh, go, uh, I wanted uh, to do a small exercise whenever you are panic. Um, just, uh, I don't know, I'm not able to see anybody, but you could do it. Just keep a hand, your right hand on your head and, sorry, left hand on your head and your right hand onto your chest. Okay? And all you have to do is one, two, three. Inhale. And with a whistle, you should exit. <laughs> Whether you are in the sink or in the thing, whenever you are panic, especially you are all aviation people, I don't know how much of uh, panic you'll be having. At least I have a panic when the flight is off and when the flight is landing. So what I have to do is every time I sit in the flight, I keep my <laughs> hand here and head and say, I do this every time. I, 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 I cannot otherwise. Or I do, you know, these five fingers. I start with breathing here. One, two, three. Start here. Okay. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. That also is a very nice exercise for you to not to have any kind of a panic. So... If you do this, it will really help you in calming down your mind whenever it is or whenever you are in a panic. So uh, I really uh, hope I have given you a lot of tips uh, for all this. So finally, this is the beginning. Let us all not be dull and let us be always sparkling. And I hope each one of you will uh, live happily 
uh, carry on with your affirmations and god bless you all me all your goals and all your future plans be very successful i thank uh, captain shaker and the aviation department for giving me this chance and i hope my presentation was well received thank you captain wonderful ma'am it was really awesome session and thank you you very good tips thank you thank you so much i uh, invite ekta for vote of thanks so sure, thank you sir first of all before the vote of thanks i'm really sorry for the mess happening that happened during the presentation ma'am that's okay but we would like to propose a hearty vote of thanks to you for gracing today's webinar and delivering the important topic of minding of the mind i'm sure that all the participants have taken note of your suggestions and will initiate it in the further in their careers lastly we thank you again on the behalf of the whole team of air crew aviation private limited it was a really nice session ma'am we really enjoyed it thank you so much and uh, it's okay all this happens when we are together because we are talking about mental health i don't think i need to be bothered that's fine <laughs> thank you captain any time i'm here with you so nice of you so nice